Hello everyone, it's Stop Moco. I'm back with a review for the Youth Digital modding course. So Youth Digital is a mod design course that you can purchase online. It, uh, you, when you purchase it, you get the software and you can install and you can create and install your very own mods for Minecraft. I got the Mod Design 1 course. There's many courses like Server Design for Minecraft, game, 3D Game Design 1 and 2, 3D Animation, 3D printing and modeling, app design, many ones you can choose from. I picked Mod Design 1 because I love Minecraft. You can get all these courses for $250. Right now they're on sale for $150 if you want to do that. I got this one. As you can see, if you click it, there's all these different courses. I've completed all of them. Uh, if you purchase this, you will go step by step through each course, figuring out how to do everything. Once you finish your first mod, you can keep designing mods as long as you want. So I'm going to jump right into my mod, and this, this is the one I created. My mod is called the Ender Mod, and you, as you can see, you have this thing up here. It says 1 slash 2 with arrows that you can go left and right with. And if you go to the right, you'll see a new tab called the Ender Equipment tab. If you go to it, we have the Ender Ore, get some of that, Ender Orb Block, Ender Shard Block, Ender Blade, Ender Pick, Ender Shard, and a full set of Ender Armor. So, first thing we'll be covering is the tools and armor. So if we get this down here... So, the Ender Armor and tools. Ender Blade, it has 7 attack damage, or I mean, sorry, 14 attack damage, as opposed to the Diamond Sword, which has 7 attack damage, so this is much better than Diamond. Ender Pick, it's fa it mines faster than diamond and lasts, lo lasts longer. Ender boots, leggings, helmet, and chest plate. These all last longer than diamonds and are stronger than diamonds. And ender shard block. If you're say you're mining in a cave and you see this ore, what is it? It is called the it is the ender ore block. And if you see it, it's very rare, slightly rarer than diamonds. If you mine it, it's not doing anything now because I'm in, uh, because I'm in, what is it called? Survival mode. If I was, er, because I'm in creative mode, <laughs> if I was in, if I was in survival mode here, and say I come across some ore, hey, look what's this, and you mine it up, it'll drop the block. When you smelt it, you smelt it, you put it in, put the bucket, bucket of lava in, let's get, put some of those in, and when it comes out, it will come out as this ender shard, it is a very rare gem. As you can see, just up in the right hand corner a second ago, if you go to achievements, after you do take an in taking inventory, once you press E, you have unlocked this achievement. Elusive gem, mine some ender ore. I just mined that, so I got it. But once you smelt it and take it out of the furnace, you'll get this one, smelt some ender ore. And then once you get this, uh, once you get this here, and once you make a sword, you'll get this achievement. So there's three new achievements you can get. If I quickly switch back into creative mode, and get a crafting table, and some sticks. And once that is done smelting, put down this crafting table, and I have two smelted so far. So as I take those out, see, I'm rich. Put it in the crafting table, say I wanted to make a sword. It is the basic sword crafting recipe. If I do it like this, normally it would be like diamonds or gold or iron or whatever. And their blade. And once you craft that, you'll get the unstoppable achievement, which is pretty cool. Uh, they give you, I think, just a basic amount of XP of mining, getting ore. Uh, it's a very rare, rare ore. Next, let's move on to the blocks. So, I already talked about this. If you mine it, you get this. You smelt it in the furnace. If you let's go into creative mode and get some ender pearls, get a couple stacks of those. And go back into survival. If you find if if you find ender pearls, which is pretty easy to find them, you go into your crafting table. Didn't mean to put that down. Go into your crafting table, you can put four ender pearls in a small box to get five ender orb block. It's not very blast resistant, it doesn't have any special effect, it's just a neat building material you can use. See if you put like, if you put them next to each other, they kind of look like orbs. So that's what the ender orb block is. And this, if you put nine, oh, yeah, if you put nine ender shards, which is the, that rare gem we talked about, in a, in, a, in a crafting table, you'll get the ender shard block. It's basically a diamond block, it's very hard to get. If you're super rich, you can build these if you want. But that is the ender, ender, or shard, bleh, ender shard block. If we go back into creative mode... Oh yeah, also, I forgot to mention. If you take these ender pearls here, put nine of them in the crafting table, you'll get an ender shard. 
but for every nine ender pearls, you will only get one shard. So I recommend don't try to do this. It's very hard to do. It will take a long time to get enough of what you need because endermen are pretty rare and they don't always drop ender pearls. So you might want to just spend your time looking for the ore. Do that. And let's see what else can I show. Okay, so now we have the mob. So if I go into well, no, before the mobs, I want to show you this. I have this dirt wall set up here because I didn't want you to see this. This is the ender biome. It has the ender ore block that we talked about as its top block. The, the block, when everything beneath it is always lava. If you go down there with fire resistance or something, you can keep mining down, down, down. You can eventually break your way through and get a little tunnel, but the lava will still flow down. Uh, it doesn't go down very deep. You just gotta kind of mine down with fire resistance potion. Ender orb, or orb, block in the ender biome. This is the mutant biome. As you can see, it has end stone, which is only found in the end, and now you can find it here, with, with it as the top block, and obsidian as the bottom block, which is pretty neat. Good, great source for obsidian ender, ender, uh, and stone. The end stone is resistant to TNT, which is great. Magma cubes will spawn in this biome, as well as the very, very rare gas. Silverfish will spawn, and so will the, and so will the mobs. Type in ender, Ender. We have the Ender Creeper and the Ender Horror. And I'll say, guess to get this stuff for later. The Ender Creeper, let's get a special Ender Sword, Ender Blade. The Ender Creeper is, looks like, oh, see that? It, it is a creeper that behaves like an Enderman. So if I punch it, well, well, I'm in here. Let's go to Survival Mode. See, it attacks me when I punch it. Now, if we quickly go back into Creative Mode. It behaves like an Enderman. It'll teleport around, make Enderman noises, everything. Ender Horror. This is like a purplish ghost thing I created. It behaves like a blaze, sounds like a gas. So if I punch it, listen. So it, it will sound like a gas. I might not be able to hear this because of the recording quality, but if I hit it with my sword, as you can see, it's flying, so the hitbox is beneath it, and, and it will drop blaze rods, just like a blaze. And it takes two hits to kill them. They're very tough mobs. If I go into survival mode, spawn in one of these. If, I, if, you, if you get near it or get, ma get get it angry, it will shoot fireballs at you, just like a blaze. It will keep hitting you until you are dead. It does four hearts of damage if you run into it, or if it just shoots you with a fireball. As you can see, it's a lot of damage. Still love doing damage. So it's a pretty cool mob. It's, just, it's not too hard to defeat, but it is... Um, a worthy opponent. So, now that we're in survival mode, great time to show you this. The Ender Crisp. It's a little gem looking thing. It's a food. You can eat it. It will restore one hunger bar, as you see in the bottom right corner. One hunger bar. And it will go down fast. Once you eat it, your hunger will go back down fast. But this is the advantage. Say, oh, there's Ender Creepers everywhere. You're trying to get away. But you're running out of hunger or something, or you're too slow. You eat these, you get speed 2 for 10 seconds, and you can get away super fast. So, that is basically it for my mod. Um, if you do end up purchasing the Youth Digital course, I will be, uh, you, can buy, you can download this mod, put it in your Forge mod folder. Uh, this mod works for 1.8 as of now, so if you don't have 1.8 or have a 1.9 version, I will either update this to 1.9 or uh, you will just have to keep playing it in 1.8 if I can't update it. So that's pretty much it for this mod. I will be creating more mods in the future, doing reviews of them. And thank you guys for watching. Bye!